Well, most of us get the idea of targeted internet advertising. So someone sitting watching X Factor on their web-enabled television mentions that they're getting married next year and that pops an advert for a local photographer. But if you combine that with social media, the power between that and the television program really increases because instead of having to pay for a targeted ad and hoping that someone stumbles on it and clicks on it, you've got an opportunity to engage directly with your potential customers. So for example, come 8 p.m. on a Saturday night when X Factor's on, you know that a huge proportion of your Twitter followers or your Facebook friends, you know they're sitting down, they're watching the television, and they're chatting on Facebook and Twitter. And you've got a captive audience there. And it's also happening, it's not just X Factor, it's happening with big storylines on soaps, it's happening on Champions League football nights, it's even happening on certain big breaking news stories. There's communities forming, yeah they're watching it on television, but they're also engaging online. And if you've got a presence on social media, they'll be engaging with you. Let me give you a good example from Glasgow comedian Des McLean. Now, during last year's X Factor final, he was chatting away on, on Facebook, he's poking fun at Matt Cardle and Louis Walsh and all the rest of it. And then when STV cut to a break, Here's what Des says, he says, ah, X Factor, commercial break time, Des McLean live at the Kings 2011, 17th of March, ticketsuit.com, great idea for a Christmas present. And then he doesn't just do it with X Factor, he also shows how to use a topical news event for this as well. Des McLean, the VAT goes up at midnight, beat it, Des McLean live at the Kings 2011, 17th March, and then he put on a link to a ticket website. The clever thing about this is, as well as Desi's friends and followers getting those messages, he's also using tags, so they're also showing up in the searches. So anybody searching for the keywords VAT increase or X factor, there's a good chance that they'll come across Desi's messages as well.